Hi, welcome to a special edition of Life's Connections. I'm Mark. Our goal here is to use scripture to answer your questions. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. As I'm sure you realize, tomorrow is the day we call Thanksgiving, a day our country has set aside to celebrate, to be thankful. And so tonight we're just going to read Psalm chapter 136, a psalm about giving thanks. And we're going to look at the question, why should we be thankful? Because this psalm gives us three reasons. It gives it from the perspective of the nation of Israel. Most of this psalm details what God has done for Israel. Let's read it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the God of gods, for His loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for His loving kindness is everlasting. To Him who alone does great wonders, for His loving kindness is everlasting. To Him who made the heavens with skill, for His loving kindness is everlasting. To him who spread out the earth above the waters, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who made the great lights, for his loving kindness is everlasting. The sun to rule by day, for his loving kindness is everlasting. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who smote the Egyptians in their firstborn, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And brought Israel out from their midst, for his loving kindness is everlasting. With a strong hand and an outstretched arm, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his loving kindness is everlasting. But he overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who smote great kings, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And slew mighty kings, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And Og, king of Bashan, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And gave their land as a heritage, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Even an heritage to Israel, his servant for his loving kindness is everlasting. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And has rescued us from our adversaries, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Who gives food to all flesh, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his loving kindness is everlasting. I'm sure you saw a theme in that psalm. That psalm is really a piece of poetry. You can kind of hear the poetry as we're reading it. Obviously, it wasn't initially written in English. It would be more poetical in Hebrew, but that wouldn't be quite as beneficial to us, would it? Why do we give thanks to God? We see the answers in this psalm. Let's start out, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. We give thanks to God for what He is. He is good. We give thanks to God for who He is. Verse 2 said, give thanks to the God of gods. Verse 3, the Lord of lords. So we give thanks to God for what He is and who He is, and then we give thanks for what He has done, as the bulk of the psalm expressed what God had done for Israel. It is important to give thanks. Another psalm says it is good to give thanks. And indeed, that is what we are to do. Let's give thanks. Our Heavenly Father, we're thankful to live in a country that has a day set aside for thanksgiving. Help us to remember that Thanksgiving isn't just about the food and the fun and the family and the football. Oh, those things are wonderful and we enjoy them. But help us to remember that it is a day to give thanks, to remember what you are, to remember who you are, and to remember what you have done for us. And we thank you above all for what you have done for us and that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. We thank you in the precious name of our Savior. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Until tomorrow, happy Thanksgiving. This is a special episode. We will be joining you tomorrow night for part six of our six-part series, Why is Israel so important? I hope you'll have time to join us then. 
and it'll be out on the internet after Thanksgiving if you're too busy with the family festivities and with giving thanks. Until next time, keep walking on the well-lit path.